nowhere. Then Latrell Sprewell trying to get his teammates fired up, and Charles was having just a huge game, but Latrell says, I'm not intimidated. Yeah, and I, I picked this out because um, Latrell had to go to the bench right after this, and, and he shouldn't have picked up that cheap foul. Um, he had to go and sit down for a little while, and, and you need Latrell in the game in this kind of situation. And they did. They had to bring in Avery Johnson when Latrell got into foul trouble, and, and that doesn't help their cause. Maybe he lost his cool a little bit there. Yeah, well, Spiegel's a, a big scorer, and he's a guy who can uh, try to defend KJ. So, uh, like I said, you need to keep him in the game. You can't have him picking up fouls like that when you're getting ready to get swept. And here's the other key part of that play, Kevin Johnson. Yeah, that's the other key part of the play, because KJ stops barking, and, and Charles already had his first technical. And, and at that point, you know, the referees are trying to stop all this trash talk. It's easy. The entire time he's on the floor, look out for him. Hernandez makes six in a row to lead six to two. Marley with the ball. Pass underneath to Barkley. He's there. They knock it loose with a foul. It's getting rough already. Usually the referee. Now Barkley straight arms green. A new rule came out. Anybody swings. You don't even have to hit the man. You are automatically kicked out of the ball game. You are automatically suspended one game. Technical foul on Barkley. That's a good play by the, the official. Barkley likes to intimidate you from the start. He'll stiff on you. He'll touch you on the head. Anything to get a psychological advantage. The officials were right on it to start. Technical foul call Barkley. Very good call. 85% of this year, Byron Scott will try the free throw. It wasn't this. It was afterwards when he straight armed Green that they called the technical call. Byron at the line. Free throw good. Lakers make seven in a row to lead at seven to two. One of the best feelings in basketball is going to the line or making a shot in the visitors' arena that shut them up. Now Barkley was fouled in the act of shooting before the little altercation. And a straight arm by Barkley got him a tee. One well, I, more and he's gone. I didn't think he was fouled in the act of shooting. I thought he just caught the basketball. He didn't have Green into Byron Scott. Danny Ainge defending against him. Scott wheels it over on the right side to three. He has an 18-footer that won't go. And now we get a foul called inside. And Kevin Johnson and Vladi Divac having big-time words here. Well, that's interesting. Divac went down. And now Kevin Johnson comes over and says something to Vladi like, what's going on, big guy? Well, I think they called a foul on K.J. for running into him. with d -bots. You don't need any words. You just need to go play. You're up by 11. Don't do anything foolish. Take care of your business. Concentrate on what you're here for. That's to win the ball game. Well, the foul is on Kevin Johnson. It puts the Suns over the team foul limit with all kinds of time remaining. Eight minutes and 36 seconds. And, uh, of course, you may recall the other night it was Kevin Johnson who put a few stitches in the right eyelid. Only because, only because Divac reached in. Yeah. At halftime, early third quarter, Kevin Johnson inadvertently elbows Vlade Divac in the right eye or above that area, and Randy Fun lost his center. He left with a bloody face, 10 stitches, and while Divac was out, James Worthy rejected by... Accidental. First free throw by Divac is good. That makes it a 10-point ball game. This crowd in the forum wants to get involved if they possibly can. Suns took them out after it was 51 all. Suns had a beautiful run of 18 to 4 to build this lead. Next free throw by Divac is not good. And Oliver Miller rebounds, and the Suns lead by 10. Off it goes to Kevin Johnson. KJ drives right side, going to take it to the hoop. Score! Oh, brilliant drive by Kevin Johnson. Split the defense and took advantage of it and took it right to the basket. So bumps with Oliver Miller. Fourth quarter, Vlade and KJ exchange some words. 16 point lead. Now 81 69. The Suns. Kevin Johnson over on the left side. He wants to drive. He's double teamed. Wheels it to Barkley. Inside to Miller. Lay it up and in. Oliver Miller. Miller scores it. Now we may get. We're going to get a technical foul. Called on Oliver Miller, and I think he's out of here. I think he's let him out of here. And there's no excuse. You score the two points, you go down and play. And Barkley's telling him right now, Oliver, we're in a 
interested in one thing. That's winning the basketball game, not you getting thrown out of it. Well, Oliver Miller has been ejected from the game. And Byron Scott's going to shoot the technical. Well, the, well, I don't see a substitute, so maybe it was just a T. Could have been just a T. It looked like they were going to eject him. Now they're getting an explanation from the officials. Byron Scott is at the free throw line, and he'll get the free throw. Well, he's going to shoot two, so it must. Here's the next free throw, and that's good, so they're, they get both of them. Well, that just wiped out the bucket he made. He's got to learn to control himself. Devos didn't do anything to him on purpose. There was just a lot of contact on the shot. Well, it was just a technical foul, but Barkley had the ball to refresh your memory. He went into Oliver Miller. Vladi Divac grabbed Miller and just pushed him to the floor. Miller then got up. He said something to Divac. Divac said something to him, and all of a sudden they call a technical on Oliver Miller and give Byron Scott two free throws. I simply don't understand it. I don't understand it either. I really don't, Al. Well, the Suns are going to have to battle back here from a very strange call. It's the Suns 83, the Lakers 74. Just over five minutes to go on the beat. And the rebound down to Dan Barley of the Phoenix Suns, and Worthy's going to be talking to himself. The KJ to Miller, 18-footer. Switch! And the Suns lead at 89-74. They're back up by 15. Three minutes, 53 seconds to go in the game. The Lakers call a timeout. We'll take it and be back right after these messages. In uniform, another guy who really stretches the defense. 17 points for Anderson. Skiles with Chambers getting back. And Orlando's taking a 75-67 lead. We're down to three quarter to go in the third. Chambers had it knocked away. Last touch by Orlando. KJ using the pick and roll. The block that time. Shaq with the arm up high. The lower part, legs down low. Don't worry about it. Forget it. That's a three-pointer for Danny A. The second of the game, Orlando 75 and Phoenix 70. Tolbert stopped. Loose ball foul. Oh, Tolbert with a shot on Johnson. The confrontation between Kevin Johnson and Tolbert, and then after the play, Tolbert winds up shoving KJ with both hands. KJ walks in his face, the shove will cost him the technical foul. And the officials want the room at center court to sort it out. They're waving players away. Matt Gukas, the Orlando coach, came over. And now a discussion between Jack Matt, George Tolliver, Steve Jabby. After the drive to the basket by Tolbert, in the scramble for the loose ball is where it became heated between Kevin and Tolbert as both players were about to go down on the ground. Kevin felt that Tolbert threw him to the ground with the right arm, reacts to it. Tolbert says, wait a minute, get out of here. You're too small to be coming after me. Tolbert was assessed a personal foul, his third. A timeout has been taken, and we will take a commercial break. When we come back, uh, we'll have it all sorted out. Let's see what they uh, call in terms of... The officials have called a technical foul on Tom Tolbert of Orlando. That's the only call. That was preceded by the personal foul call, and Tom Chambers will shoot the technical. A look back at the play. The personal foul is called as Tolbert and Kevin Johnson are scrambling for it. Right there is the personal foul, the throwing down to the floor of Kevin Johnson, and then the technical foul there as Kevin Johnson walks up into his face. Orlando Magic, 75. Phoenix Sun, 70. 2.50 to go. Third quarter. Kevin Johnson with the stop. 
He penetrated and then was able to lift. And he has words in the direction of Tom Tolbert. Yeah, I'd say that Kevin Johnson came out of that timeout slightly pumped up. And this is a Kevin Johnson this year who has had to take a back seat because of the number of scorers that they have on this team. He says, my biggest contribution is get the ball to the right people and play good defense. We need me to play good defense. You talk about athletic ability. Get up, elevate, and then left-handed, send it down. Foul called on Mark West. Charles Barkley getting set to come on. Tony Smith putting some pressure on Kevin Johnson. But it's Johnson who is hot, and the foul will be on Tony Smith. They can't stop Kevin Johnson. He is playing so emotionally, and he better be careful because they can very easily get him a technical foul. And they call that T on uh, Kevin Johnson. The shot not on that play. He takes the ball to the basket aggressively. He's been shooting jump shots as Kevin Johnson. Randy Fun is trying in vain to get the official to make the call. He's going to break his foot over there trying to be sticking that table. That table's not going to move. But the discussion as to whether or not Kevin Johnson should be assessed the technical. Watch, all of a sudden he beats Tony Smith. And they get tangled up. There's a little conversation now, going on. Now, what's happened with a foot, Gary? Well, he, didn't, he kicked the air. He really didn't kick, kick free. He was just yeah. kicking free. He didn't kick at him. And we'll sort it all out with 9.34 to go. And Phoenix, 10-point lead. Then Kevin Johnson assessed a technical foul. They did rule that he took a kick. Now, watch. As Tony Smith gets the personal foul, they become entangled. And... That's Kevin showing what he did. What happened was Tony Smith clamped his leg. He clamped Kevin Johnson's leg, and Kevin Johnson kicked the air, but it's the intent that the officials are trying to make sure that the game doesn't get out of control. Jadale three shoots the technical. Phoenix by nine. Now it'll be KJ at the other end. No, that's a non-shooting foul. And so Phoenix will play it from the side. The ball, and now got a technical foul. Joe Klein apparently getting hit with a technical. And now he's been ejected. Joe Klein, I think, has been thrown out of the ball game by referee Jake O'Donnell. Well, the Sun center core is very thin with Mark West hobbled. Joe Klein's been ejected. Too technical. That's not the time to get ejected because the Suns need Joe Klein. So we're going to go with that small lineup. You're going to see A.C. Green. And the Suns don't also need to give the Rockets any more opportunities. They've given them enough here in the third quarter, and that's why they find themselves down. And Kenny Smith hits both of the technical free throws. It is a nine-point lead now for Houston. A.C. Green will replace Joe Klein. I don't know. Klein got all of upset in a hurry. Well, I guess he figures Elijah Wan gets away with a lot. He touches Elijah Wan, gets the foul called on him, and he challenged Jake O'Donnell, and I've said it many times to my players through the year. Don't challenge Jake O'Donnell. Suns are over the team foul in the cotton. Houston has one team foul in the quarter. Front where Barkley saves it. Now they say over and back. Over and back is the call by referee Danny Crawford. And again, the Suns aren't agreeing with the call. He left the backcourt. He landed in the front court with the basketball at the same time. You have to get over there. You have to get over in order to make it happen. Well, the ball's going to belong to Houston. And Charles was in the backcourt, jumped into the front court, and that is a violation, and the official made the right call. 104-88, Houston. Into Vernon Maxwell for the...